Welcome back to Working with Aptana uh, for FMIS 2201. Before we start creating new files, uh, it's a good idea to get familiar with Aptana number one and then also uh, to get familiar with how to locate elements on an HTML page so that if you're looking for stuff to or elements to modify, you know where to look for them. So here I've got my template and let's say I want to know, um, you know, what's the name of this file because I want to replace this picture with a picture of myself. Now, there's many, many ways of doing this. I'm going to show you several ways that's also described in the slides. Uh, let's work with the browser first and then later I'll show you how to look for them in Aptana. So if you're in Firefox, you can actually right click on the picture and click on inspect element what that does is that it splits the screen into two one showing the picture and the other actually showing the code of what the picture is so here it says that the picture is the has the name gardening one jpeg in fact if you hover over it you'll see the same picture display not only does it tell you the name of the picture also tells you how big it is here notice it says it's 900 by 431 pixels so it's 900 pixels wide and 431 pixels tall and this is very useful because when you want to replace your picture this picture with your picture you want to make sure that your picture also fits the same dimensions so that it will fit nicely into the template okay uh, now, if you let's go up a little bit and notice that right now we know that this code is within uh, the body element, okay? and we also have the head element that we saw in our HTML page. If we click on it, uh, it's got a link to the style.css file, just like how we did in our previous assignment, right? Now let's take a look at that in Aptana so that you can now um, work with the code in Aptana. So let's go to Aptana. And if you open up Aptana, you should see now the files that we've copied from the template appear in public underscore HTML. If you don't see this, you might want to do a refresh. Uh, make sure that the files actually appear um, and you can click on your index.html file or double click on it to display it notice that the old see right here it says that your old style.css does not exist that's because remember we deleted the old one so you can exit out of that and right now we're looking at the index.html file Right, uh, and we can also use Aptana to search for images. And to do that, let's just click on Edit and Find. So we can find and replace, and it opens opens up a little window here where you can type in. Let's say you want to search for all the images. Of course, the image tag is IMG. Right, and you can click on Find, and there we go points to uh, the image tag and right now it's pointing to a different image tag right um, and it's it says images slash logo what we were looking at previously we look at it again we were looking at this image tag which is in the gardening one uh, or sorry in the images folder and it's called gardening one dot jpeg right we can actually look at it in the file explorer so let's go to public underscore html folder right file explorer and get out of here it's still processing the find that i was looking for and in the images folder just like it says in the code notice that in the code it says that it's in the images folder and it's called gardening one all right so let's go down and look for it and it's in the images folder right here okay. 
And sure enough, we have gardening one. Now, if you double click on it, you'll see the same picture. Show up, just like that. And at times it's opening in the Windows Photo Viewer. Okay. Now, these steps you can also do in on the Mac. It's exactly the same steps, except of course you're using the, the Finder. So let's go back up. Go back to Aptana. And uh, one other thing you might want to do in Aptana is to, let's close this for a moment, is to split the screen. This is a neat way of um, displaying both. I'm going to move this down a little bit so I have a bit more space. Both the code and the preview of the file. Uh, to do this, just go ahead and preview the file in Aptana. All right, and there you go. And then drag the tab, hover over the tab, click the mouse button or the trackpad button, and then drag it down until you see a little horizontal line appear in the middle, just like that. See that? And if you release your button, it splits the screen, which is kind of neat. Right? So, for example, if uh, let's say if I were to scroll down and click on any of these things here, okay, so I can see, okay, this is tips. I'm going to look for it right here. Uh, I'm looking for tips just to just to know what what's the name of the file. So I can again do a either do an edit, find. And look for tips. Okay. Search for it, and sure enough, that's the gardening tips. Now that's a little different. That's gardening tips. So let's find it again. So edit, find next. And there it is. I found my tips right there, and it has a little lorem ipsum dollar Latin text appear after it. Okay, so there we go. So I've, I've just shown you how to locate elements on the page, and this is very useful when you're trying to modify the template um, and uh, get it to uh, display the things that you want it to display. I'll see you in a bit.